nice little swirling stream here and we are at Claythorpe Mill Wildlife Gardens we've been here before in fact Michael has brought me here twice that's Michael West that is and there's plenty of birds but they're feathered ones go in here and take a look round I only see one or two birds at the minute but there's lots of birds twittering in the tweez yes twittering in the tweez hello old cock This is a bygone exhibition area. Old bottles, dressing and grinding stones. Old lamps. A ringer. Caught my fingers in there when I was a kid. Didn't half hurt. Churn there. there. <laughs> you tripped up the step, did you? I did. Ah. Little step. Only about two inches, two or three inches. Look at the size of that saw hanging on the wall. Yeah, two man saw about that, definitely. This is the three stooges on this trip, by the way. Yeah. You've got Ernie, yeah. and you've got Mike, and, and you've got, got me. <laughs> three stooges. Yeah. Look at this lovely barrow here, look. What's this, a coffin? Oh, it's a chicken. <laughs> hen's, hen's coming here, isn't it? Yeah. A nice lady here on the wall, look. This is in the shop. This is in the shop, but we've got to pay in the cafe. So if you wanted to buy anything, you could take it with you, couldn't you? Look at that. Benjamin would love one of them, I bet. Might take him one, I'll see how much they are first. Yeah. The two of you get one. No, he won't, no. <laughs> look at all the butterflies, look. I see those ships. There's a little gnome. Cockerel. What's that? Yeah. My golly, what's that? The lighthouses are nice. There you go. There's all these little people all sitting along the shelf, look. So with that, I think we'll go and pay. That's an unusual one. Isn't he? An unusual looking one. And we're out into the open and um, there's a signpost giving us directions. But before we do that, I thought we'd go and have a look in the old bakery. Hello, you. He's dragging his tail a bit. There's the other one going, there's another one over there, look. Beautiful. Last time we came here, you held up your camera and they immediately fanned their tail out. Well, as I said, we were going to have a look at the old bakery. It's a little tiny shop window. A nice cake in there, look at that. And some tarts. There you go. Bread for your tea. Nice cakes in the showcase. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Have you had many customers today? No, not very many. It's rather early just yet. Right, okay, well we're not buying anything, we might buy something on the way out. Oh yes, all right then. Hello my duck. <laughs> we're just going for a walk. We're looking for the duck we're looking for the duck pond actually. Yeah. All having a chat. 
Oh, I went there having a drink, look. And we've got this other one, he's joined in, he's sharing. This is a snowy owl, aren't you? Are you snowy? Is that what your name is? Hey? He's in a little area, I'll go away. Oh, he's looking a bit better now. You can never seem to get him face on, can you? But um, he's in a nice little enclosure. Got a nice little waterfall. And he's got some fir trees to go in. So it's not bad. Some more ducks over the other side of the lawn there. I'll tell you what, I bet they don't need the grass mower here. Sorry. Always pleasant, the sound of rushing water. And this stream is running right through the middle of the gardens. Fascinates me that crown on their head. That's it, he's had his breakfast. He's off now to find a lady, I should think. I believe it's the males that have got the most colourful tail. Another one with a fine crown on its head. Aren't you? Hello. Here's looking at you, kid. I think he was just having a bath. <laughs> Can have another one now. There you go. Lovely markings, aren't they? They've got music playing on there. Desert Island Ducks. Or Discs. <laughs> An awful lot of noise going on around here. This one's trying to have a sleep, but there's too much noise going on, isn't there, mate? Hey. Most unusual markings on that one. Just move down, there's a couple more down there. Giving his leg a rest, aren't you? This one's doing a bit of a clean up. 
That's it. They tread so delicately, don't they? Okay. I thought he might be going to jump the fence like the other one did. But I hadn't got my camera running when the other one did it. This is a nice little um, summer house. And very well made. You can stand or sit in here and overlook the wild fowl. Seats in here, look. Getting into a bit of a flap. Maybe they've had their wings cut so they can't fly away. Wouldn't surprise me. Or clipped. The wings clipped, they call it, don't they? I'd like to see them put their leg up and climb out. That's what I'd like to see. Just to see how they do it or whether they have to flap their wings to climb out or whether they just lift the leg up. Well, I suppose I'll do it when I'm not looking. <laughs> now, believe it or not, being a train enthusiast, here we have a railway overbridge. But it's a railway that is now derelict, but um, no doubt the old track bed is still up there. And the bridge probably built, what, 100, 150 years ago, is still in very good condition. Lovely reflections in the water. Is he keeping guard? Well, he's standing on part of the roof of the mill, or the mill building.
Is he going to jump? We're waiting patiently. Go oh, on, you can do it. I've got a fly crawling down my neck. That'll probably bite me while I'm concentrating on this. Well, there you are, all ready for your dinner table. All you need to do is pluck it. Meanwhile, the peacock's still up on the roof. We used to have a rat called Joe. I did. You sprucing yourself up for me, are you? Gonna look nice and neat and tidy. Eh? Ernie and Mike are looking for otters. There's one in our there's one in our kitchen, it's called it's called a kettle. There you go, you see. You found them? Yeah, we see them. They're ever so quick. There's one. Yeah. You can't see them. It's too too um it's too uh, murky, murky, murky. What's, what's, what's that over there? Look. Where? Yeah, making all this swirl. Oh, that's the same one, yeah. They said he'll, he'll come up here, just come to the top. If you see him coming across, make yeah. sure and they'll come up. If you go and buy a bag of food, mate, they'll be yeah. here as quick as lightning. And they'll jump up, because we did last time, didn't yeah, we, Mike? This one, this one, yeah. Watch him, watch him. Yeah, yeah you missed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. not an otter. I said, are you looking for otters? No, it's do they? Fishes these are. Otters won't let them come up. Why not? Sure. We've been we've been to an otter park and fed the otters, me and June, down in Cornwall. There's a wooden fish there, look. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there then? Hmm? What have you got there? Hmm? What have you got? Hmm? Is that your dinner? Eh? Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Eh? He's certainly enjoying that. Haven't you got any? Hey? Haven't you got any? Hey? I bet you're picking up the crumbs, aren't you? Hey? Share and share alike then. And for my next trick, I've been and bought some fish food. I've already thrown some in, and the ducks seem to like it. I will throw a handful in, and see what happens, shall we? Not a lot of life. I think these fish get very well fed by the visiting public. There you go. Over there you've got two old fogies. Look, sitting up there, look. It's 
sitting there enjoying the afternoon. There you go. Not got much fish jumping about though. We'll put some more in, shall we? See what happens here. There you go, look. See that go in? You can see the splashes and your knees get wet because I'm kneeling down, but you don't really see the fish. They're undercover workers, you see. Okay, here's an information board. Tales of the riverbank. The river is the great O, emanating from below springs. It is one of the chalk streams of Lincolnshire, fed by rainwater percolating through the chalkland. Stripped of its impurities by its chalk filter, it flows clear and bright, remains at an average temperature of 11 degrees centigrade, dropping below 5 degrees centigrade even in the coldest of the winter. A haven for flora and fauna. Well, there you've got a sleeping wallaby. Hello? <laughs> He's probably waiting for his lunch. Yes, he's going to snuggle down. He's not a bit bothered about the visiting public. He should be jumping about and showing off so we get value for money. Never mind. Standing in the tea room, we're going to have a cup of tea. The peacock's decided to do a fan. I'm going to turn around now. Showing off he is. They like the camera, peacocks, I don't know whether you realise that. Very often they will show off when you point the camera at them. <laughs> Quite funny, isn't it? Got a reflection in the... Uh, he's got the female here as well, look. That's what it is. We've got the two females. And he's got them cornered, haven't you, mate? Got them covered. Now what are you going to do? Now you've got them up the corner. That's what I want to know. Ah, jumped up on the wall, look. Ah, there you are. Look, he's doing a runner. Look, they've both done a runner, mate. Too late, they're not there anymore. Sorry. No sex today. Your loves have run away. <laughs> I said to him, come on, give us a shot then. And started performing, didn't you? Hey. Well, there you go. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is the turbine and the wheels. This is in the old mill building. It's a nice model, I must admit. Mm. We won't talk to him, he won't answer us because he's behind glass and he can't hear us, you see. It's all the massive cogs. Yeah, yeah. There you go, still can't be. Go up here. This one, more wheels here, look. And the water used to come rushing through there. And this That's a beautiful picture, is this. all in the dining area. And then he's just looked, spotted Jeez, the picture. Can't you get your still, yeah? This is what it used to be like. That's lovely, isn't it? So that there is where we stood feeding the fish and in there is where we're going to have a cream tea. Well I am anyway. Sorry. Lovely isn't it? We'll call this the bird section. 
showing you some of the beautiful colours on these birds. Got a very long tail. Hello! What do you got to say? Eh? He's gone. And we've got these round here, look. Look. It's better if they go over there because I can then zoom in and get rid of the wire mesh. It should clear in a minute. <laughs> Lost him. There you go. It's getting the camera to focus through the wire mesh. Some more down below. There you go. You can't get one any closer than this, can you? By golly, look. What are you doing, eh? You're very tame, you are, aren't you? Eh? Very tame. You like to show off on the camera, don't you? Eh? Hello. Hello, mate. You be quiet. Ducks have had enough. They're leaving home, I think. Oh, they're going shopping. Oh, look, they've got one of the bags down. Look. <laughs> That's the fish food that you buy. And they're nicking it. Got the bag down from up on the shelf, look. <laughs> oh, well done, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and they know not to eat the plastic. The other one's gone out into the countryside. These are pheasants. Not the pheasants we see running about in the road, trying to get knocked down. Male and a female, I should imagine the male is the prettiest one. But he's decided he don't. Here's another one. He's got absolutely beautiful markings, he has. Very camera shy, aren't they? As soon as you put the camera on them, they seem to do a runner. Here's a really big one. Just lovely. Look at his head. They're beautiful, isn't it? You're having a wash and brush up, aren't you? Hey? Another beautiful coloured bird. Going right in, it's always around their head where the best colours are. Look at that. Beautiful gold colour. <laughs> Christ, he looks like a knight in shining armour. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your visit to Clay, Claythorpe, is it? Claythorpe. Yeah, there you go. There Mike you go. says Claythorpe Mill. This is the third time I've been here, the fourth or fifth really? time for Mike, yeah. and it's always a very enjoyable couple of hours with all the wild birds. You cannot beat a bit of wild bird. See you again. Ooh, nice, thank you. Okay.